There's Geronimo and Twilight shooting a little ball. <laughs> Actually, it's a big ball. What I want to do is find out if uh, where the leak is in these, and the only way I can figure to do that is like I did my muck boots and fill them up with water. The question is, how strong are these straps? Because that's going to be over 100 pounds of water, most likely. So. I hear your bird. I oh, know. That's the one lonely chicken. All right, hang on a second. I know what y'all are wondering. Do me a favor. Go get my blue hat for my head. Where is it? It's in the back seat of, in the front seat of the truck. Now my bride's gonna hold the camera while I uh, attempt to put water in this. Hold on, hey, Geronimo, do me a favor. Turn the hose on. Right here, hey. Geronimo, right here. Turn the faucet. Just turn it like twice. This thing got so much pressure, it's gonna blow, huh? Hold on. One minute. Is it A little turning? more, I'll tell you when to turn it off. When these things start snapping. I hear it. Oh, wait a minute. That's only one leg. I gotta do both legs. That's too close. So it'll be. <laughs> I don't see any water coming out yet, do you? No. Maybe they're not leaking. Maybe it's just I was sweating in them. And now they're full of water. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, this one is going here. All right, that leg is up to right there. I see something on the foot. Oh, water? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. I see a drip on the left foot. On the bottom, on the sole. Yep. Uh oh. I heard some popping. Okay, so the general feed comes How? Oh. All right, turn it, uh, turn the water off. So now I gotta get this out of here. Uh -oh. I'm gonna have to get a new pair of waders. Right, row. That was like three drips from done. It broke. Well, hey, you can wash them off down there. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, never mind on that. We'll never find the leak now because I'm not doing that again. Let's do something more fun. Let's do mail. So who do we have? Y'all want to come over here next to me? I, I have officially announced his name. It's Gabe. He's hiding. He's the one that's shuffling off to college in a, in a few months after he graduates. And then you know Jerome won. He's playing Alabama Junior. Okay, uh, I already opened this. Yeah, she cheated, but Sorry. nobody else has seen in the bag. He said we could read this. He said, hey, EA, bride and family, I sent a pair of matching man edition socks for you. Oh, those are for me? Yeah, EA, haha. -ha. Hey, see, we got a picture of me on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's something else in here. Come here, Geronimo. No, that's William Seymour, guitarist player for Rebecca Todd. That's not me. Come here, Geronimo. Oh, Geronimo got something. The t-shirt is for Geronimo. Let's see. <laughs> can you turn around so I can see? Oh, she loves it. Oh, and it says She's love. actually a, a, a guitar player. So what is that first one? It's a guitar. What's the other ones? 
He said on here, her expressions, her expressions when she She's realizes camera shy. you're filming her is wonderful. <laughs> and then he sent this to you. Oh, let me open it. And this is from Ron. Did you finish it? Yeah. Well, sort of. Wonderful card is for Caleb. What do you put on the card on the front? Hey. Oh, you changed your name to Caleb. <laughs> Caleb's cool. He said happy graduation. He sent you greenbacks. <gasps> Get oh out of gosh. here. Use the money for whatever. Enjoy. Cool. <laughs> Ron's Thank been pretty you. awesome. Yeah, he sent he sent another pair of socks that I claimed. Then I realized they were oh, hers. For me. Thank y'all so much. Geronimo does like a shirt. She's just being all camera professional right now. Yeah. So anyway. Thank y'all so much. Oh, wait a minute. Stephanie sent something to EA Jr. How'd you get those holes in your uh, <laughs> rock and roll tights? Playing outside. Because he stayed. Oh, so like, I don't know. Okay, go ahead. One, doesn't American Idol start up soon again? I think it's already going on, yeah. Oh, really? I don't know if you can fast forward through all the sob stories. You know, they talk about how people, this person's got, oh, they're wonderful. They sing so great, but they've got eight toes on each foot, and it's been a horrific life for them, and they're made fun of through their whole life, and it's tragic. And therefore, you're emotionally voting, not based on their skill set, but how tr tragic they're. Are you going to open that piece of paper? Um, I don't think he is. I am. I'm hey, John, go find a can opener. I got it. I'm just kidding. Oh, he got it. I hope we can show this on Stephanie. Can I show this on camera? She, she always sends the coolest stuff. Yeah. <gasps> oh, you dumped it out. I got it. Oh, wow. Hmm. What is this? Olav. Olay. <laughs> Oh, can you read that? Hey, hey, oh, it's to you. This is a chrome. Can you read chrome? it with like noise coming out of your face? Uh. <laughs> you, want, you want her to read it? I'll translate. Hey, EA Junior, I wanted to, you to add a few foreign coins to your collection. I hope you like them. One's a Norway chrome from uh. 1980, a Norway ore. Tin ore. And then an Israel Lira from around 67 to 80. I have more for you, but I didn't want to send them all at once. I hope you're having a good year in school. Take care. Stephanie. P.S. I love your chicken. Tell him he needs to start Thank putting you. out videos on his channel again. He wants to. He just... I love the chicken, too. I like the broken crow. I know. She's got a broken crow. All right. We're going to move on to something else. Thank you so much, Ron and Stephanie. Okay, now back to what we kind of do. Thank you again, everyone, for everything. And I wanted to tell you, check these out. Since I destroyed my uh, waiters yesterday, I went and got these. Oh yeah, they're fancy. They go all the way up to here and you hook it to your belt. Well, you don't hook it to your belt because then I couldn't wear it, but I hook it to my belt and I wear it. And I can still get my hands in my pockets. And I got these because David got tired of me whining about my boots being too short or that I had punched a hole in them. So he sent me $100 on PayPal. Couldn't believe it. Thank you so much, David. So this is what I went and got. And these are awesome so far. I haven't got them wet. But I wanted to start right here again. This is where I dug up that blue piece of slag and where that little pebble rolled out that had a penny stuck to it. Now, if you remember, I thought it was just a standard issue library scent, but it wasn't. Turns out it was an Indian head penny. Not only that, going up in the creek more, I swished around and swished a V-nickel. So, many moons ago, one of you told me, carry a broom. Look at a brat. And I actually stopped. I think it... Dollar General the year last year and bought this broom for crate bottoms So what I want to do if my machine is recording Is place the first foot in the moisture 
Let's see. See, I can get right out in it now. It's not worry. Because I'm not going to get deeper than my waist. That'd be a waste. So anyway, I'm going to get up there, which is a pretty good little walk. Actually, a long walk. To where we uh, harvested the... Uh, we did a little underwater car parts creek swishing. And we're going to sweep the bottom of a creek with a broom and see what we find. Help me think of a neat title for this video. And uh, that's what I'll call it. There's so much stuff down here. I don't plan on getting my fingers wet today, though. Okay, maybe we will. Let's go. You know, I got to thinking, every now and then the wind picks up and you can't see the bottom. So here it is, pre-sweep. I'm not there yet. I just decided to stop and try this. And let's say, oh, that looks like something. So we got to find out. So we sweep it. And then the plan is we should be able to see what it is now, right? Gotta move all the worms. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. We're about to sweep the creeks. Look, you can actually see. And then that'll prepare for summer swishing. I haven't been here 20 minutes and I just sunk that thing through there and it stuck in my foot. Oh my goodness. Man. How in the world did that just happen? I just stuck that in my foot. It's kind of clean on the end now. It's kind of throbbing a little bit. Oh my goodness. I was about to go right there and sweep that clay looking bottom. I'm standing here kind of in shock that I just did that. Looking at my silhouette in the water. That's actually a shadow. That's a big concrete pillow. That's a tire. If I bleed out real good in my boot, maybe. <laughs> David, I'm sorry. I'm apologizing for punching a hole in your foot, waiters. I have never stepped on anything that went straight through. Maybe the rubber's tight enough where it sealed itself back up. I ain't going back. I know that's the correctness. There's nowhere to put anything right here, so I'm gonna rest my Kelly grippers right there and sweep this. I kind of cramped my style a little bit. I just want to get some of this stuff off of here and see if I can reach in there with the grabbers and find something. Let me sweep it real good. I'll turn the camera back on. It's hard to do with Uno hand though. There's about 20 large brim up here. Well, creek brim. There may be a proper name for them. Waiting on me to finish so they can come down here and suck up what I've swished. They love it. I don't see anything. So far my foot's not wet on the outside. There may be a drop of two, a drop or two of bleed on the inside. But uh that's, that's all right. Let's move up here a little bit. I'm still kind of in shock about that. Really disrupting the fish. There's a feed least. I can see it from here. We'll harvest it. Look at all the fish. It's like walking in a giant aquarium. Let's harvest this. Right. While I was walking, I saw this. It's not the whole way of them. Wonder what that come off of. Is it upside down? I see the Chevrolet symbol. It's hard to tell if it's upside down or not. I don't know. What do you think that came off of? Name that car part. I'm having difficulties with my camera. This is where we were last time, where we did a little underwater swishing. This time we're going to stay, try to stay above water and talk about what we find. So I think I'm going to uh, sweep it real good. 
and then we'll look and see. See, that looks like a corn right there, but it may not be. No, it, it does not be. So let's sweep this real good, then we'll look at it again in a second. Apparently I was sweeping too hard because I just folded my broom in half right there. So I got a hole in my foot and I folded my broom in half and uh, things are going good. It can only get better, right? All the little tiny straight pieces of lead are what y'all have told me in the past that came out of... Uh, now that looks like a car emblem down there. What came out of... Uh, let me get my... Kelly Grippers over here. Batteries, car batteries. I don't know, we looked at this last time, I think. Yeah, we did, it is not a car battery. find some new spots to sweep this is a definite swishing spot you got to be underwater the whole time I like to bring an excavator down in here and turn the ground a few times okay this was the spot we went to second where I came up a little higher. There's a lot of lead in there. U joints. Hang on, let the water quit moving. We'll get a good visual. Let's move everything around again. I don't see any coins or anything worth picking up right here. Let's try right here. This works really well. It does take a minute or so to get all the worm guts gone. That's a WG squared. I do not see any coins or anything worth picking up right here either. So let's go to another spot and sweep it off. We got a lot to sweep. I'd like to stay in these more shallow areas right now though. Let's go over here on this edge. Let me get my grippers. I set them right there in some raccoon poo so that it makes them, the good thing about that, it makes the handle sticky so it doesn't slide out of my hands. Let's go to this edge right here where everything stops right here and sweep it. We'll do it like this. See what shines here in a minute. I know you want to go underwater. I need to get a, a knee strap instead of a chest mount for this GoPro. That way you can be right under there during every bit of it. If we stand still, we'll see here in a minute. Nothing. You know what I may do? I may go through here. Let's do this. Let me sweep all this. Oh, there's a neat hook under there. Let's get that hook. You want to see it first? Let's sweep it. Looks like it's broken. Can you see the hook? Yeah, it's broken. I 
Oh yeah, we're gonna sweep all this. I'm gonna get that hook out of there first. Can't lose that three dollar dollar general broom that I just folded in half. Oh, it ain't broke. It's an open, an open-ended hook with a do flotchy. That joker should have looked hand smashed but probably snot we're gonna harvest it all right I'm gonna sweep all this you look at it, how brown it is right now on the bottom now if my broom doesn't fold up again next time I come out here I may come with a, a push broom after we see what that is don't know what that is Let's sweep all this and look at the bottom. Okay, folded the broom up a little more on that round. That's gonna be tough to see. I didn't mean to get my man purse moist. Too late though. All right, let's move upstream. I changed my mind. Let's go right here. It's a little more shallow, and once the wind stops and I sweep it real good, we'll be able to see. Let's start here. I don't see any corns. The wind's blowing pretty good, but I see one shiny thing that's probably just a trash piece of aluminum. I dropped it. Okay, I don't know where it went. This is what caught my eye. What is that? That is a big old hunk of metal. You gotta back up quicker, it splashes around your eyes. What is that? Hang on, I'll get it where you can see it. Now oh, the wind stop blowing. It's a piece of metal. I don't want it. Oh yeah, the wind stopped. Let's look. That is a big old hunk of brass right there, huh? Or lead. It may be a lead end. I don't know. Let's go to the bottom. We can see the bottom now. Can you see the bottom? I can see the bottom. There's a big lug nut. Oh, the wind's picking up again. Let me find another spot to sweep. I swept a bunch out in the middle. I'm on the side now because there was a bird that flew up and said, oh, what you doing there? And I said, I'm just uh, looking around for stuff. I think there's a, a jet ski about to come out there here. I hear it off in the distance. But I can't tell. I want to get out in the middle again. I swept a lot of it. Might take it a few minutes to clear up. That's not so bad. It's not real clear. Oh, it's deep. I keep slipping. Now let's wait on the water to clear up. Stop moving. I see a handle. Not like the musician handle. I want to look for all the big and obvious first. That's the B&O. That, I wonder if that's a car emblem. It is. What is that? Come, what do you think that came off of? There's that shape and there's that shape. Let's harvest it until you tell me what it is. Oh, there's a nice big old honker pair of pliers. I found several 
tools in here. I didn't get them last time. I may start getting them. I'm about to drop my Kelly grippers. Let's harvest these. We've got to move fast. The wind's starting to blow again. Man, you can't see anything when the wind blows. you be able to see I don't want to put you on the water it takes so long to get you dried back off so you can hear me talk again so we can talk about the fines that's where the wind quits well, the wind stopped now my walking back to it waves are there I tripped it'll stop in a minute hold on there we go it's looking a little better there's a lot of lead Move the big rocks out of the way. Oh, the wind is coming back. I know you want to go into water. I'll get a plan for next time on going under. Right now you gotta do it from above. There's a bunch of jet skis out here. over here again. Okay, let's find another spot to sweep. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to kind of sweep in here a little bit. I'm not sure we'll be able to get in there much it'll take it a few minutes to for all the dust away there's a shovel and a bunch of other car parts in there but we're going to sweep all that and then go over there to that tan looking area right there sweep it a little bit and then we'll stop and uh ponder our existence and see what's in there i know it's pretty foggy i haven't let it clear up all the way i just want to do a quick peek see if i really we even want to mess with this anymore. I see brake shoes and these big rocks. Let me walk over here. Alright, it's cleared up a little bit now. There's the shovel right here. I think kind of just standing on the sides waiting on me hang on I'm looking for a better spot I think it's cleared off a little bit more enough for you to see I was waiting for the guys on jet skis to finish because they're gonna say hey there's some wacko down in that nasty creek but I see a tool right by this shovel and I'm gonna try and harvest now that is a quite interesting one if I say so myself, and I'm the one talking right now, so I, hang on, I'm gonna get it so you can see it. Uh, is that a tool or a bracket? It's a tool. I see the words on it. Hey, we're gonna harvest. You know, I've got that rust stuff that company gave me. Ooh, I may, uh, Part of a jack. I may put this stuff in there and see how it works out. So we'll go slow. See if we see anything else. Maybe this is gonna be a tool hunt. I need my I don't need my broom yet. I saw something up here I swept off, but I I could not figure out what it was. It looks like it's gonna be too heavy to pick up with my thing. Yes it is. I don't know, it moves a little bit. Things are always not quite as heavy underwater. So if we get it moved, I'm gonna move it over here. And then maybe you can look at it and see what it is. Alright, we're gonna wait on the dust to settle again. Man, blew that didn't hurt. Oh, let's slip over here. It's gotta go slow. You're gonna stir it up again, dude. Okay. You gotta get all mad about it. 
What is this, your first day in a creek? Oh, there's a big tortai. Actually, it's not a tortai, it is a slider. Come on out, let's say hey. Hey, what are you doing down there, little fella? Or big fella? Ooh, I dumped all the water out. You better get some more air. Just helping you out. Okay, see you later. You wanna go back to your spot? You can't get under my shoe. He's trying to get under my shoe. Could be a she. I'm not trying to be judgmental. It is still trying to get under my foot. You can't do that. We need to sweep all this. Okay, let me see if everything's... Okay, I think you might be able to see this thing now. That looks like part of a transmission. Can you see that thing right there? I can see it. I just, I can't hear you. Let's move upstream and, and uh, let's go over here first. Oh, I see another tool. Yeah, I'm going to clean up all the tools that I find over here. Then I'm going to throw all my good tools away and start only using these antiques. Maybe not that one. We'll harvest them now. There's a giant. God, that looks like a snake's head right there. What is that? Look at that. That was a massive sucker fish. Oh, great. Now they're riding motorcycles in the creek. Where's that giant silver dollar I saw right there? I know it's not a silver dollar, I'm kidding. That was a big old fat sucker fish. There's a big gear. I thought it was a big snake. There's a, oh, there's that big compressor thing. You remember that from a couple of years ago? That's been a couple of years, hasn't it? Remember that thing? I couldn't make it move back then. I should have brought my broom. We'll go back and get it in a minute. I'm going to whip up a big old snake in a minute. Let's just hope it's a friendly. Let's get our broom. I wish I could move that thing. But it's buried real deep. Okay, there's a little better picture of that thing. Can you see that? Piece of transmission. See, that looks like a tool. We've already picked it up, haven't we? Shovels don't count. They don't fit in the man purse. Let's get our broom and move upstream. Here's a good spot. We're gonna sweep this. Now I get a lot of comments about how nasty Alabama creeks are. I seek these kind of creeks out with all the junk in the bottom on purpose just to see what's down there. There are, well I've told you this a million times, there's plenty of beautiful, absolutely crystal clear Alabama creeks. Even our trashy creeks are crystal clear. 
So maybe that could be our claim to fame. Let's uh let's sweep this up and see what we got. The water's moving a little quicker right here and it's blah blah blah. Well that is marinating. Let's unlodge this bottle right here. And see if it was worth the effort. I can't even hardly see it anymore. There it comes. No, it was not. Oh, that cleaned up real quick. Let's go ahead and participate. We stop moving so we can see. See anything right here? Let's move on upstream. Yeah, bro. All right, there's a lot of stuff in here. The water's a little calmer yet moving. I'm gonna sweep the daylights out of this, and then we'll come back and look at it. <laughs> I came back downstream and I just swept all this because upstream there was nothing. So I just swept all this so we can look at it a little better. Gotta let it settle. Maybe swishing is the best thing for this creek to really get in here and find stuff. That way you can get all the big rocks out of the way and uh, really get serious. In harvesting the auto parts. No idea what that is. I think if we move these big rocks, we can sweep in here and look around a little more. You wanna do that? If I can pick them up, they're glued to the bottom is the problem. You know, we talked about this last time. Remember that was me. Yeah, let me sweep again. We about got it all cleaned up. <laughs> I need a new broom. Hang on, let's look right here. There's something. Right there. Maybe not. There's something that looks like a coin. I've been, you remember the video I put out of the playground? And there was a, uh, a slide. Did y'all, that looks like an arrowhead stuck to that rock, doesn't it? Mound up in the concrete. That's concrete on there. Did y'all ever forget what that is? Yeah, me either. Anyway, remember the, uh, um, slide the old one it said an American up and down the steps well I've talked to the fellow that owns the park which is no longer a park you know a playground park because it's falling apart there's boards with nails everywhere and uh, I asked him if he had any interest in selling the slide well he just called me back but I was on the phone with my next to the oldest one, Gabe, who's about to graduate. He keeps telling me not to tell y'all that. But, uh, I'm telling you. I'm gonna sweep this. So anyway, I'm gonna call him back too and see what he says. Duh. That should've ended with a D, not an S. Oh. 
Plus, we're up to real good. I called that fella back about the slide. Real nice guy. He's, uh, I believe he's about 83. He's a, a minister in that town. And he wants to meet me there. So I've got to wrap this up and get in the wagon because it's about an hour and a half from here and I gotta remember how to get there. So we'll see. Let's do a quick peek again right here. I swept all this really strong. There's something. There's nothing. One of y'all keep getting messages. I hear them. I'm gently looking around. I'm trying not to stir it up. It's just hard to walk in this without slipping. You know, I was surprised the last videos of the underwater swishing didn't come out clear. A little disappointed. Let's go back. This is where I wanted to look a minute ago when I cleaned it up. Let's go back right here and wait on the wind to stop blowing for a minute and then we'll be done after this. See, if I could get down there and swish, that's where the corns would be. They're a lot deeper than everything else. Let's move all this down. I have made videos before that I'll be recording for Evs and uh, go back and look at it and you can't see anything. So uh, I'll wad them up in a little ball and throw them in the garbage. Oh, hang on, let me get this down there. Right, wait it out, wait for it. <coughs> okay, I guess we're going home with a few tools and one feet at least, because here comes the wind again. Thanks for watching my videos. This is kind of fun to me. I hope you're having a good time too. If you're not, we'll do it again anyway. Thanks for watching my videos.